हेलो एवरीवन इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट साइंटिफिक कंडक्ट इन रिसर्च सो साइंटिफिक कंडक्ट रेफर्स टू इथिकल प्रिंसिपल्स दैट गाइड द कंडक्ट ऑफ साइंटिफिक रिसर्च सो सम इथिकल प्रिंसिपल्स आर देयर लाइक ऑनेस्टी इंटीग्रिटी ट्रांसपेरेंसी अकाउंटेबिलिटी एंड रेस्पेक्ट फॉर अदर्स दीज आर सम इथिकल प्रिंसिपल्स दैट गाइड्स द कंडक्ट ऑफ साइंटिफिक रिसर्च नाउ साइंटिफिक मिसकंडक्ट इज अ ब्रिज इन दिस प्रिंसिपल राइट सो इफ यू आर ब्रिचिंग द ओनेस्टी इन द रिसर्च इफ यू आर ब्रिचिंग द इंटीग्रिटी इफ यू आर ब्रिचिंग द ट्रांसपेरेंसी इफ यू आर ब्रिचिंग द अकाउंटेबिलिटी और रेस्पेक्ट फॉर अदर्स it means that you may have to face some serious consequences for the scientific community and public so we must have to follow all these ethical principles so let's explore them one by one if we talk about honesty these are some of the key ethical principles these are some of the key ethical principles right so if we talk about honesty in scientific research so basically honesty means researchers must honest in all aspect of their research from the design of the study to the reporting all the results this means not fabricating or falsifying the data and not plagiarize the work of other so researcher must have to be honest it doesn't mean that uh, researcher should use the work of some other authors some other researchers without mentioning them it would lead to dishonesty as well as researcher do not have to mislead the data researchers must not manipulate the data keep the data as it is it should not be biased right so all these things lead to honesty so these are some of the key ethical principles honesty is one of them second one is integrity so researcher must act with integrity in all aspect of their research it means that being objective and unbiased in their approach and not allowing personal or financial interest to influence their work so the research must have integrity in all aspect of research it should be unbiased it should not like that if anybody is giving you some financial assistant or influencing your research with the help of some kind of uh, uh, you can say that rewards it should not be like that it must have integrity in that and then transparency researchers must be transparent in their research whatever they are doing it means that their data their methods of research should be available publicly so that further works can be done on that right and it should be verified publicly so transparency should be there in the work they after accountability so researchers must be accountable for their work researchers must be accountable for their works whatever they are doing this means being willing to answer questions about their research and correct any errors if they are found or uh, told by any any other researchers right so the researchers must be accountable for the work that he or she is doing and respect for others researchers must respect the rights of others in their research this means obtaining informed consent for human participants in treating animals humanly it should not like that if you are having some human participants then you must have to keep some respect for them yeah right you need to work uh, humanly you need to keep their privacy rights right you need to treat animals so that they cannot be kind of frustrated right you need to treat the animals so that no any kind of laws should be violated right so we must have to keep these principles in our mind if we are doing scientific research these are some of the key ethical principles of scientific conduct all are under scientific conduct right now if we talk about ethics in science and research then uh, in science and research it involves adhering to moral principles basically 
and conducting research in responsible and ethical manner basically it includes informed consent means respecting the autonomy of research participants by obtaining their informed consent before involving them in a study for example if you are using some data some research data from any other research study you must have to inform the their authors if you are taking any data from uh, any particular website or any particular uh, published work you must have but you must have a, a kind of permission so that uh, it should not uh, create uh, it should not uh, Mis it should not lead to the misconduct of scientific research, right? So you should have to follow this ethics. Participants should fully informed about their purpose, risk and benefits of the research and their privacy and confidentiality should be protected, right? So it, wh whoever you are taking into the research, they must know what is the purpose of this research. It should not be like that you are including their data and they doesn't know you, you are making them full, right? It should not be like that. Now, second one is human and animal welfare. Basically, we are talking about ethics in science and research. So informed consent, then human and animal welfare, ensuring the welfare and well-being of human and animal subject involved in research. Basically, many types of research are there where there is a need of animals or humans and they must have to participate directly in that right so researchers should prioritize the avoidance of harm and minimize discomfort or suffering should not be like that you are discomforting or you you are because of your research animals are suffering right so you should have to be keep aware with their comfort level right and uh, uh, this is very important ethics right okay conflict of interest so disclosing any potential conflicts of interest that may compromise the objectivity or impartiality of the research findings financial professional or personal interest that could influence the research should be acknowledged and managed appropriately right data fabrication and falsification it should not be like that whatever data is there you are making manipulating it and you are creating data on your own which doesn't exist it so it should not be like that and plagiarism you are using the work of others without their credit without giving them proper credit so all these things are under ethics and ethics in science and science and research we must have to keep aware of it and we must have to follow uh, these ethics for doing a good scientific research right now if i talk about intellectual honesty then uh, intellectual honesty is an essential aspect of scientific conduct. It is an essential aspect of scientific conduct, which emphasizes the integrity and sincerity in the pursuit of communication of scientific knowledge. So intellectual honesty means uh, we can include rigor and objectivity point here, conducting research with rigor, objectivity and transparency. Researchers should employ robust methodologies analyze data objectively and draw conclusions based on evidence without bias or undue influence, right? Attribution and credit, giving proper attribution and credit to the contributions of others. Researchers should acknowledge the work, ideas and findings of fellow scientists and collaborators. Openness to criticism and feedback welcoming and considering constructive criticism and feedback from peers and scientific community intellectual honesty involves a willingness to reassess and revise one's own work in light of new evidence or perspectives intellectual independence maintaining intellectual independence and avoiding undue influences or pressures that may compromise the objectivity and integrity of research. Researchers should pursue knowledge based on evidence and avoid conflicts or of interest or bias. So in intellectual honesty, we can put like uh, rigor and objectivity. Basically, researchers should employ robust methodologies. They should have to analyze the data objectively, draw conclusion based on whatever there is evidence, whatever proofings are there without any kind of bias or undue influence of any financial or any personal gain, right? Attribution, proper attribution and credit should be there. If you even though taken some work, 
you must have to acknowledge all the persons whoever was the or whoever is the part of your research study openness to criticism and feedback whatever feedback you are getting from the colleagues or uh, from different authors different researchers and there might be people who make criticism so you should have to be openness with that and intellectual independence maintaining intellectual independence and avoiding undue influences or pressures that you may compromise with the results or the conclusions drawn it should not be like that so this is all under intellectual honesty right and now if i talk about research integrity because it is also part of scientific conduct that is why we are discussing it right here so research integrity refers to adherence to professional and ethical standards throughout the research process it includes a reproducibility and transparency ensuring that research methods or data findings are transparent and reproducible it means that whatever research you are doing it should in future if some other researcher want to continue his or her research study on that particular topic it should be reproducible right and complete transparency should be there so whatever methods you have used whatever data you have applied and you have used should be available publicly to the others users so that they can uh, test them publicly at any particular time this would create a good scientific research right peer review submitting research findings to peer review where experts in the field of critically uh, evaluate the quality and validity of the research peer reviews helps ensure the integrity and reliability of your published work so peer review is very important part of research integrity right and because of that integrity and reliability of the, your work should be seen right and it evaluate the quality and validity of the research quality and validity of the research right a responsible authorship assigning authorship credit appropriately based on significant contributions to the research and all authors should take responsibility for the integrity and accuracy of the work so responsible authorship should be there it is also research integrity means whoever is the author and if some consequences are there all the authors should be responsible for that right publication ethics adhering to ethical guidelines and standards when publishing research this includes avoiding duplicate publication properly acknowledging funding sources disclosing any potential conflict of interest so it should not be like that whatever research work you have published is already published somewhere else or it is uh, a part uh, of your already published work it should not be like that and whatever funding you are using and whatever particular potential conflicts of interest should be there so you should have to maintain all that stuff there right so it publication ethics should be there and responsible data management handling research data in a responsible manner handling research data in responsible manner including proper storage security and retention data should be preserved and enable verification and future use so these are very important parts of research integrity guys so in scientific conduct adhering to these principles whatever we have discussed in intellectual property right whatever we have discussed in um, intellectual honesty research integrity and ethics in science and research uh basically they promote trust reliability and advancement of knowledge in scientific community and researchers have a responsibility to maintain the highest standards of ethics intellectual honesty and research integrity throughout their scientific endeavors right it is going to create a very good kind of scientific research now in next lecture we are going to discuss about scientific misconducts right scientific misconducts we are going to discuss so guys stay tuned and subscribe this channel definitely you are going to get a very very important lectures and content in future also so please subscribe stay tuned and if you are having any doubts queries please feel free to ask have a very nice day guys jai hind jai bharat Audio,